Dropbox is a great way of storing files and accessing them from different computers. In Moodle 2 with the Dropbox repository, when you upload a file, you can choose one from your Dropbox account. This video shows you how to set that up. I need to be a site administrator and I'm clicking on Site Administration and after that I'm going to go to Plugins and then choose Repositories. Then if I click on Manage Repositories that brings up the screen with all of the different options from which you can upload into Moodle. The Repositories. If I scroll down one of the options that's available for me to choose is Dropbox. There are a couple of settings but I'm going to pick the one that says Enabled and Visible and in choosing this that then brings up a screen for me to configure it. The name I'm just going to leave blank because if I don't do anything it's going to call it Dropbox which is what it is but then I need two keys or codes and to get them you click on the Dropbox Developers link there which is going to take me to my Dropbox account. Here I am signed in and I click on Create an App. It doesn't actually matter if you don't quite understand this, I don't, but this is how to get your Dropbox working in Moodle 2. So I'm going to give it a name, it's just my Dropbox for my Moodle Fairy Moodle 2. And then you click Create. Once it's made, you have a blue link called Options. And when you click on it, as I'm doing now, scroll down to the very, very bottom and there are two keys there, a key and a secret and they need to be copied and pasted into your Moodle 2 configuration screen. So I've got the key, I'm going to paste that into Dropbox API key, go back to my Dropbox and get the secret and paste that in and then click Save. Now to test if it works, let's go to a course and upload a file. So I'm going to give it a name you don't actually have to give a description to this. You can switch this off if you don't want to do this. Then when I go to Add, which is the normal way now in Moodle 2 that you upload a file, you'll see that I've got, alongside the others, I've now got the option to get a file from Dropbox. And when I click it, it asks me to log in to my Dropbox account. This is for the first time. And it's wanting to connect Dropbox with my Moodle 2. If I press Allow, I now have access to all of my Dropbox files and I can choose one to upload it into my Moodle 2 course.